it's Sarah and I'm back to share the tassels I made today. I was inspired by a video by Sandy Huntress. Um, the video is called Friday Findings and it was filmed on this Friday I think. So um, it's called Tassel Focals. So she was basically showing you how you could make a tassel from chain and had some beads and everything um, and then shows you how to do it. So I knew I had some big focal beads, but I and I have a lot of chain. So I, but I did go out and look for a few things um, that I thought would help. Um, but I saw these beads, and these were at um, my Joann's. Um, they are oh, it says it right here: acrylic beads, large mar marble heart. And these were all forty percent off today, so that was pretty awesome. Um, Regularly $5.99, so I got them for $3.59, and there was five on a, um, I got both packs. There was only two packs. So I got the hearts, and I decided to make some heart tassels. So I'll show you what I did. I just gathered up all my chain. I'll turn this up, and hopefully, I mean, it's not going to be the best shot. I'll probably lay it down in a second. But I went and got, I just gathered up all my chain that I have. I have tons of chain, like... I've had these in my stash forever. This is just blue. It's bead landing. It was $1.99. I have a green one that I didn't use, but I thought, I think I'll play with them and I'll wait for just the right bead and I could I could do that. Um, I got, I did buy a couple chains today. This is like a, I guess a brassy color. I don't know what color they're calling it. Because the bead caps I use, you, you need a big, a fairly big, um, I guess that would be called a bead cap. Um, yeah, because that's the ones. These were actually by Bead Landing. They're in this pack. They're called Found Objects Bead Caps. Yeah. Um, and they came, I think there were six, oh, 12 to a pack. So you got four silver, four brass, and four like copper, I guess. So I thought, well, that'll work. And this is the first one I made, and I love it. I did a mixture of, I think there's three different chains. I ran out as I go. <laughs> they start to get less and less. And this is like the longest chain I did. These are probably um, three inch. So I did six inch. I did like six, six inch pieces of chain. So that's pretty long. Um, so that's the tassel. You use a piece of wire, and I've had wire. I've done beading on and off um, for a while. So I've had these in my stash. Um, and the silver, sad to say, was the thinnest of the wire. So I wasn't really thrilled with how that came out. Um, so then I started using the gold. This is a 20 gauge. I'll bet you that's like a smaller gauge. I don't even have the gauge of those on there. But just they're just firmer, like I'll show you. This one I made last, and you can see I'm like running out of chain, and there's like short ones, and anyway. But it's very stiff, it's like stiffer, and I like that, and it didn't um, bend. This one is made with the silver, and it's just, it, it seems a little more flimsy. I mean, it's not flimsy. I'm gonna lay it down, because it's just not working. Um, at that angle, but um, they're really pretty. The, the heart beads are super pretty. They're kind of like a marbled red with like some kind of like a tannish green almost. I don't know. Um, so this was a pack of Jesse James beads that was right there. So I got them because they were right there and they came with like this red one was in the pack. Um, not all these, some of these are from my stash. So I just stacked them as best I could and just put a little um, ribbon on the top and I figure it can be looped around a, um, a, a doorknob or something and just kind of hang and kind of swing. And uh, this is really not a good um, view. But anyway, so that's the first one I did. Then I got this other pack of beads, these right here, these red, like red and black marbleized ones, um, did the same thing. I used, maybe I'm still using the three here, but I made it much shorter. 
Um, and I just used all black and red and I put a little heart charm at the top there. And so this one's black and red. So pretty simple. Um, this one's cool. I, I played up with all the gold chain. I actually, I just used two colors, two types of chain. Um, as you can see, I had more of this chain of, than I did of this chain, but I mixed the gold. So I had like a bronzier, um, I used the bronzier findings and then popped some of the bright gold findings in there. I used a bronzier butterfly and then have the, the gold or findings. So that's like a gold um, version with the red beads. Then I did another black and red one with silver. And this one, I was, um, some of the silver didn't look as bright, so I brightened it up with my um, silver leafing pen. So it's basically the same as the other one with a black ribbon this time and I put a little heart like spacer bead there. This one's cool. This has I think three different, nope still two, but this is an older Jesse James bead that I just had in my stash and I just thought it worked with it. But again I'm playing um, both the colors of gold. Put a little gold ribbon. Um, so I like that one too. I like the two tones. Um, and then this is the last one I just made. I have to trim this because a lot of, I, I started like not cutting the chain at the, I was just looping it onto the wire, which would made it much quicker. But I got all these done in a couple hours. It wasn't too bad, but I like this. This is such a beautiful Jesse James bead. And I just thought it played perfect with the hearts. So that's them, and then I did do one other, like a gold. I just had these in my stash. I'm pretty sure these are Jesse James beads too. Um, and this has the three colors of gold chain. So really cool texture, the butterfly. This, these beads are beautiful. They're, they might be just from um, AC Moore, um, like those bracelets that you cut apart. Then there's just like a hunk of, I don't know what kind of bead that is. And then I put a little flower on the top with a, a gold ribbon. And then I, of course I had to do a skull. <laughs> so this is like the thinnest little chain that I had. And this probably isn't really an appropriate um, bead cap to make a tassel, but it worked. I thought it worked. It covers up the wire anyway. So that was all I needed to do. And then I just did um, some pinks and a pink skull with a little topper on. There's a, his neck is like a flower and some um, eyelash trim or eyelash yarn. So cute, right? I don't know. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. All right, you guys. So happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching.